Our project is for the performance evaluation for stroke patients using amyl power. What is amyl power? After neurological injuries, patients may suffer from impaired arm and hand function. Hokoma's Armeo therapy concept provides clinically effective solutions for arm and hand rehabilitation. The motivating game-like exercises can be easily adapted to the patient's individual motor and cognitive capabilities. Under the reasonable assumption that the patients are getting better during rehabilitation, a systematic analysis and selection will be provided. Here is the system diagram. By using the raw data collected from Amul Power, using the game EFEE and EFES, the system is consisted of five parts. Database, data preprocessing, metric calculation, normalization, and data mining. All steps operate in the sequence as shown. The obtained recovery trend can provide objective guidance for clinicians. We have three kinds of databases. The raw database. The preprocessed database. and the normalized matrix database. For the data preprocessing, Butterworth filter is implemented to remove high-frequency components. Outliers are detected and re-evaluated. The effect of fatigue is also considered. The example of the fatigue code correction on smoothness indicates that the outcome is optimized after applying fatigue coefficient. We don't have enough samples, so this raw data cannot be used in convolution and pooling. In order to evaluate the patient's performance with specific metrics, we use seven kinematic features to describe them. They can be divided in three groups. These features have different units and magnitudes. If we want to use machine learning to cluster our features, we need to do normalization first. As a result, all features will be scaled in the same range. After stopping training for a period, the scatting factor will influence patient's performance. We will apply time initialization here to eliminate this kind of impact. We accomplish data mining by using two machine learning methods, K-means and self-organizing mapping. Both of the methods are unsupervised learning because we don't have the labels defined by professional clinicians. K-means is the most classic unsupervised learning based on Euclidean systems. The left GRF shows how the K-means method works. Self-organizing mapping is another unsupervised learning we used. It is a kind of competitive learning method based on neural network model. The right GIF shows the clustering process of self-organizing mapping. In our evaluation criteria, the small low value in the y-axis means the better performance of the stroke patient. We have 8 subjects with 2 game types EFEE and EFES in our project. Five out of eight subjects indicate the stroke patients are recovering in a good way for one game. Moreover, five out of eight subjects share the same trait for the both two games. However, 
Each game also has three undesired outcomes because of the patient variations. And the three subjects have opposite trait for different games because of the different level of parallels for different joints. In conclusion, our performance evaluation system can evaluate the recovery conditions of stroke patients in statistical approach. What's more, it can provide objective guidance for clinicians. We still have limitations because sample subjects is not enough. In the future, with more sample subjects, we have more precise evaluation results. Besides, supervised learning methods as well as convolution and polling methods can be applied.